Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic light holders of our guides of New Eden. Every day and every way, our starseed earth angelics of our universal alliance of light is growing in strength and numbers. Hold steady, warriors of heaven's legion of light, for we have reached the critical mass of this great awakening. Keep the faith and hope alive for all those joining our ranks, as we inspire others only by being inspired ourselves. This is not something you can force upon another, but lead by example. We do this by living from our hearts, being connected to all things, and teaching the way to the kingdom of heaven within, and being a beacon of light in the dark for all who got lost along the way home. As a lighthouse in the night, we guide our good people of the new earth to the other shore of enlightenment and compassion for all sentient beings of the way. Together we consciously co-create a better, more enlightened world for our future generations to thrive and live in peace and harmony as life on earth was always meant to be. Our ground crew inside team of the 144 call in our highest timeline of our ascension journey and anchor in fully our 5D new golden age of eternal life into the quantum elysium field of pure awareness of Buddha mind, our original awakened state of total consciousness. We now live our higher purpose to fulfill our divine birthrights of full planetary liberation and transform this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And be sure to sign up on our Patreon page for my Sacred Condor's weekly New Earth Ascension Energy Report and Astrology Reading for the Week Ahead at WhiteGoldEagle.com. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster. New frameworks today, lots of meetings, and new cycle. Feels like final integration from December. Movement in the galactic nodes. And today from Divine Brol Thor of the Light Pars Kute, the 2024 cosmic event that will change everything as we know it. This is the final lifetime on 3D Earth we will ever have. Right now all the soul fragments from all our lifetimes are integrating back into the whole. We have access to all of our experiences at the soul level at present. That's why now our choices matter the most. Within Divine Love of One, Pars Kute. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Joy, a sense of rebirth, new doors opening, actually deepening, honoring, paths opened before. The integration of everything, the new with the old, the key gems discovered years ago with the recent gold, the sacred journey, the nonsense, the pain, the hurt starting to make sense. The delays progressively becoming intelligent, as of all-knowing, the bigger picture. The stabilization into a new dawn. A feeling of alignment, trust, and perhaps celebration. Not a celebration for something specific. More a celebration in general. For the path overall. For the divine plan, if any. For always trusting. For this roller coaster called life. For the never giving up for the breakings that so often lead to better, and to the making of a soul, for freedom, for all the times we keep going forward, having faith in the unknown, with no physical evidence that we are right, for the rewards that always come in divine time, for allowing ourselves the space that we need to find what is true. From SophieGregoire.com
And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 13124. Today is the end of it. 2023 has no more business with you. It fulfilled its mission of personal transformation on your behalf. It released your deepest fears, exposed your shadow side, enhanced your divine connection, polished your inner light, brought out your greatest truths and treasures, and now it sets you free. We won't see its like again in our lifetime. 2023 showed you what you may have been afraid to see. That you are the light on your path. That you are the star of your story, the creator, the editor, audience, judge, and critic. So much empowerment came out of last year. Take one last look at what you gained. The only question now is what kind of life to create from here. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Dia, Cosmic Blu-ray. In the midst of this long spiritual warfare for the hearts and minds of humanity, you are here and alive. Your frequency is yours and yours alone. You are contributing to this great shift that will become books, movies, and documentaries in the future. The first phase of awakening is to be always completely aware of the present environment. Practice the ability to absorb intelligent consciousness like how you absorb oxygen out of thin air. When time is spent in random unconscious thinking, talking, or doing, you cannot have a direct connection with this intelligent space, hyperspace. When the physical body is healed of fears, negative thought form, and thus its polarity, neutral state is achieved, and in this state the heart intelligence can be opened and get accessed easier. In this shift in consciousness, you will achieve ultimate healing of the hearts of humanity. Your physical body has been, and will continue to be, subjected to greater changes from this new grid crystal light, 711 coming in, and from much activation felt from your own planetary. Aligning your heart center with Terra center is the secret of gravity's magnetizing force, the channel of harmonic synchronization that connects you with the galactic heart. From the center point within self, you align with this galactic center and connect through your own crystalline structure to the larger crystal grid network. To keep this channel of synchronization open, connect to the elemental energies of Earth and feel her love. By accepting your physical form and your growth process in this world, you access the hub of centeredness out of which all the truth and magic of the universe unfold. Take off your shoes, touch the one Earth, find a place to dance with the sacred hoop of life. Contribute your vision as an awakened member of the global family. You will tell your kids and theirs that you lived through the greatest battle that occurred on this planet. You are loved. Dia Cosmic Blu-ray. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Shakina Rose. Power of the Blu-ray. Energy updates. You are in Cosmic Illuminated Solar Ascension Cycle for 2024. Current Cosmic Energies. Intense radiation storm and strong solar flares are hitting the earth with magnetic fields of giant clouds of plasma. All planets are moving direct. These are very powerful energies hitting many of you. It's a solar ascension and high expansion energy. You can benefit from this cosmic solar expansion. Many empathically sensitive blue rays and star seeds have a magnetic sense or sensory awareness of the Earth's magnetic field, known as the Schumann Resonance. Solar activity as well as cosmic and Earth magnetic fields have an effect on your nervous system and your whole being. Some of the effects, bouts of exhaustion or tiredness, aches, pains, and soreness in the body, and also longer to recover from strenuous activities and workouts. Emotional sensitivity and heart awakening some could feel small bouts of feeling anxious and jittery, along with the feeling that something big is coming. Experiencing heightened spiritual experiences, awareness, new insights, embodiment aspects of your higher self, and ascended masters. 
electrical, mechanically, and internet glitches, timeline clinches. Feeling intense, wavy energies going through your body and also being able to hear the energy, which may even sound loud at times. As the energy expands, it can bring up the release of fear, your old identity, and things of the past coming up again. Emotional outbursts and emotional healing. Be mindful of the energy of emotions that are about to surface or of any unexpected or abrupt thoughts that might be detrimental to relationships or other people, as they are arising and are passing through you in order for you to ascend. As you honor and release the emotions, allow your integration and to return to divine alignment. Whatever arises, take it to the next level and allow it to strengthen your bonds with others and yourself. These are hidden gifts waiting for your acknowledgement. Additionally, this may grant you newfound capabilities that enable you to manifest your divine power and speak your truth. Aspects of your divine power that you were unaware of and needed to know will be revealed to you. There may not be a lot of scientific evidence of how intensely you are affected by the cosmic, solar, and earth energies. We are creating a different kind of science. 1111 pulsing in. One that is based on who you are, the star seeds. These standards are different than what science may agree on. You are the new science and your voice matters. Please share your feelings and what you are experiencing. It's important data laying a new her and his history. From ShekinahRose.com 144 flowing in. From the Vine Sister of the Light Deviani sing Isis Channelings. Stirrings of the buried seeds of destiny into light. They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. Dinos Christianopoulos. The goddess spark that sacrificed herself at Yule. Solstice. So that the sun light may be born. And has since been held in the deep dark depths of the great mother, Gaia. For regeneration, renewal, and deep initiations. Into the mysteries of death and rebirth. Much like us, as we too have been navigating Plutonian and karmic deaths for a while, is now ready to emerge. Rebirth with the upcoming Imbolc Gateway. 144 Continuing to Pulse In Imbolc is the belly of the Great Mother, the gateway of new stirrings, rebirth, and emergence. Now opens February 1st, Calendar Imbolc, February 4th, Solar Imbolc, 10th of February, Lunar Imbolc, Chinese New Year. Death, release, letting go has been the underlying current for a while, and as we midwife ourselves through these energies of endings, we have also been witness to new sparks of inspiration and insights that are to be our torchbearers for our reemergence. Bridget, the symbol of Imbolc, is the guardian of the triple flame. Crown and third eye, fire of inspiration and illumination plus heart, fire of love and healing, plus sacral, fire of creation, just as the fire and light of the sun ignites in the belly of the great mother, earth, and new stirrings of life begin to emerge from her. Our inner flames of heart, mind, and womb are ignited too, the buried seeds of light, now reemerge for a brand new cycle. And since we are birthing into the energies of eight and new Pluto cycle, it is not just a new cycle, it is a new mega cycle of destiny and karma as we wrap up some major karmic contracts. Also a recurrent theme in my channeling sessions recently have been karmic contracts around fear that are up for review. Now as we step into the year of eight, courage, Many who resonate with Sirius, DNA, Blue Ray, Lion Frequency will be up for karma contract review of cycles they have negotiated for over the past few years that were soul-drawn contracts to help them move into their higher soul potential once and only if they are able to overcome the greatest barrier, fear. The message was the same in almost all the sessions. Fear is the illusion. 
the distraction that keeps you from your highest destiny. Look fair in its face and take it by its horns, and see your path, your destiny unfold. As this seems very aligned with the year of eight, where we are asked to step into our inner power via courage. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the determination and conviction to follow the heart guidance and deep soul calling in spite of the fear. That is the way forward to release these karmic contracts into victory, power, sovereignty, inner authority, freedom, joy, and inner radiance, so that you may be queen or king of your inner queen kingdom, the gift of the year of eight. Note, fear as in stepping out of one's comfort zone and addressing the elephant in the room. That is difficult conversations, conflicts, drawing boundaries, addressing issues of abandonment, death, and shying away from intimate relationships, allowing oneself to be vulnerable. Bridget is also the keeper of the holy waters in addition to the triple flame. Union of opposites. The very union of opposites that we need to embody to rebirth into our new and highest potential, destiny and soul path. I've spoken in previous posts about this inner union as Sekhmet and Path, Light and Dark, Courage, Power, Sovereignty, and Fear, Dark. On the eve of the Imbolc Gateway, make place for ritual and ceremony to nurture your own triple flame to pierce through the veils of illusion with positive intentions and a heart that knows and believes in miracles. Venus Inanna, our guiding divine feminine principle, will ignite the womb flame on the 7th of February as she moves to the gate of creativity in celestial realms and our very own gate of rebirth at our sacral chakra on the physical level. Divine timing as always. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake Na from IsisChannelings.wordpress.com and today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The energetic transition into February. The dragon energy awakens. Dear friends, we are moving through very intense energetic days this week. We are transitioning from the big waves of transformation initiated by the January light codes into the deeper timeline consolidating energies of February. This whole 2024 year, harboring the vibrations of number 8, will be pushing us into new territories and opportunities for growth and abundance. On February 9th and 10th, as the new moon climaxes, the new lunar year is celebrated by millions of people around the globe, the year of the wood dragon arrives. In Chinese culture, the dragon holds a significant place as an auspicious, and extraordinary creature, unparalleled in talent and excellence. It symbolizes power, nobility, honor, luck, and success. 2024 is also forecasted to bring about new opportunities, changes, and challenges. If you're seeking a shift in your current lives, this dragon year might offer a favorable field of opportunities. With the incursion of Pluto into Aquarius taking place during most of this year, we are definitely leaving behind old territories and building new structures. We are shifting energetically into a new state of being, more aligned with our divine timeline. And as we shift, we also become more sensitive to the energies around us. Our nervous system is working non-stop at the energetic and cellular level to make room for the new timelines for the year ahead. Expect at least some frequency shift symptoms to continue as we move into February. Headaches, sleepiness, digestive system issues, and dizziness. Try to rest as much as needed. Stay hydrated to facilitate the flow of energy and give your body the time it needs to adjust to the intense shifts in the frequencies. This whole week will be a great time to relax and allow your energy to merge with the energy of 2024 as you work with this activation. As we move into February, the dormant dragon within you will begin to awaken, and a renewed sense of purpose and direction will emerge after the current energetic metamorphosis. 
breathe deeply and get ready to stretch those dragon wings much love we are one from diego berman dot com from ascension lightworkers to the ascension lightworker collective ascending souls experience various ascension symptoms due to the ongoing process of repairing restoring and recalibrating their major chakras this intense energy influx can cause physical and emotional discomfort the chakra system is being upgraded to align with internal changes and the physical body must release all stored emotions and conditioning as we ascend the ego resists change creating an inner struggle patience is key as the ascension process cannot be rushed trust faith and belief in oneself are crucial the new generations will demand conscious and intelligent leadership on this ascending planet drastic changes including the major influence of artificial intelligence are on the horizon authenticity is essential as hidden agendas are revealed ascending souls may feel like they are revisiting old challenges but they have developed wisdom and consciousness to navigate them navigating the inner struggle between your ego and your ascension journey requires self-awareness and mindfulness recognize when the ego is resisting change and causing internal resistance practice self-compassion and acceptance allowing yourself to experience the discomfort without self-condemning and judgment engage in practices such as meditation self-reflection to deepen your understanding of your ego's patterns and beliefs develop a connection with your higher self and align with your soul's purpose relationships may change as personal growth occurs prioritizing self-growth is not selfish but necessary for your ascension the year 2024 holds greater astrological and numerical significance for karmic justice and the illumination of hidden truths. The universe is sending assistance and support during this transformative time. Emotional, spiritual, and material improvements are on the way to assist in the ascension journey. On the ascension path, it is common to face challenges such as resistance from the ego. The ego resists change and clings to old patterns and beliefs, creating inner conflict, emotional and physical discomfort, as energy shifts and old traumas are released. Ascending individuals will experience emotional ups and downs, physical symptoms and fatigue, loneliness and isolation. The path of ascension can sometimes make ascending individuals feel disconnected from others, who may not understand or share their spiritual journey uncertainty and fear stepping into the unknown and embracing spiritual growth will bring up fears and doubts about the future letting go of attachments releasing attachments to old identities relationships and material possessions can be challenging but necessary for spiritual expansion integration of higher consciousness integrating higher states of consciousness into daily life and human experience is a gradual and sometimes uncomfortable and overwhelming process balancing spiritual growth with everyday responsibilities finding a balance between spiritual practices and fulfilling everyday responsibilities can also be a challenge at times navigating expectations society may not always align with the values and perspectives of ascending individuals on the ascension journey leading to conflicts and challenges and finding acceptance in self the truth in these ascension challenges are all part of your transformative process and with self-awareness awakenings endurance source support and perseverance they will all be overcome the energy in the collective may still feel heavy for some individuals as the effects of the recent full moon strongly lingers in their systems. However, those who are less affected are experiencing high frequencies and a sense of peace and calmness. They are actively maintaining a higher vibration to assist and energetically support the others. Life like nature operates in cycles and it's normal to experience seasonal changes 
have ups and downs on the path of ascension. You are a catalyst for change, highly benefiting self, your loved ones, and the collective, simply by being true to yourself. Practice self-love and self-care during both joyful and challenging moments. In 2024, significant astrological alignments occur throughout the year, marking a pivotal turning point in ascension history. The Earth's energy is highly favorable to your continued ascension journey as benevolence, synchronicities, and miracles continue to unfold in your reality experiences. Welcome this powerful planetary time, allowing it to propel you forward on your path of higher conscious development and loving and dedicated ascension service from Ascension Lightworkers and from Divine Sister of the Light Judith Kusel. We are living in amazing times and in the midst of seeming chaos. The hidden order reveals itself everywhere and in so many forms and ways. Keep the focus on the little things and find moments of appreciation for a tiny flower, the sound and smell of rain, the feel of the sun on your face, the birds singing, the sound of the waves crashing onto the shore. There is beauty, harmony, love everywhere. Blessings, more than this, the unseen helpers, allow your soul songs to raise, your intuitive knowing to guide you. Make time to listen to uplifting music, sing, dance, go for long walks on the beach, in nature, go hiking. Go do those things you have on your bucket list. Be adventurous, do whatever you love doing, being, creating, meditate, send love to all life and life forms on earth and beyond, and soon you will find the blessing of being in the world, but not of it. From JudithKusel.com and today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Karen Lithica. February Light Frequencies For the path is light and playful, pure and unconditional, thriving in light. We ask you to walk with us in a path of light purity, together in light. For the month of February is free-flowing. As you have anchored the many facets of your light trajectories, reaching your multidimensional light path, a complex multi-dimensional web of light, all encoded and activated as you choose to explore the many facets of you. Like diving into a deep ocean, you are now exploring deeper and deeper aspects of you. The human experience can mislead you to become eager quickly and take a deep dive very early in this expansive journey. We ask you to enjoy and play in the energies as many beings are before and around you as your journey becomes lighter and brighter. Simply enjoy and play in the frequencies, for you are naturally attuning to the light of you day by day, a wonderful splendor of light. Allow the lightness of you to expand as you play in the multidimensional realms of light. Enjoy the wonderful light of you as you balance the current earth realities. We observe and salute you. With love way sure as we ride the light waves for February. With love to the Global New Earth Alliance, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code As reunion with self completes through the inner child as the light body container continues its expansion. Release stress, ground and integrate. Turn inward and listen to your soul's true desires. This truth is ready to be revealed and heard by all parts of you. This information may be connected to being an indigo starseed, bringing deeper grace and understanding for being an indigo child. The father wound can heal. The heart can let go. It's time to rebirth out of those childhood programs that have been running the thoughts and manifesting in life. Allow confidence, self-worth, and self-esteem to expand. Deep inside, you know exactly what to do. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Hoffman. One more day in January, and we're off to ride the dragons. February is going to be active. 
Meanwhile, we are still moving a lot of energy right now as we clear out the heavy Capricorn influence and make room for Aquarius. It is a heavy, dense energy that we are literally pushing out the door. So if you're feeling the energy is very heavy, slow, and hard to move, that's why. If you're wondering why this heavy energy is present, now that Pluto is out of Capricorn, it's because the personal planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, are all in Capricorn, holding the energy for us so we get maximum exposure, learning, and benefit from this transit. And it's not quite over because in November, when Venus goes into Capricorn again, we'll have a final Alpha Omega portal with Venus and Pluto on November 12th. And that will be over. Pluto goes back into Aquarius for good a few days later. We will be in this heavy, dense energy for another day, so make the most of it. And this will be one of those times when there will be a very strong energy shift when we go into a new month. Hang in there. We are doing great, even if we're feeling tired, wired, fried, and tense. How is your day going? From EnlighteningLife.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Wednesday, January 31st, the moon, ruler of our emotional ups and downs, is still in Libra, sign of the scales. Today she will oppose Chiron, the shaman, bringing healing and balance to our emotional body. In conjuncts, Uranus, planet of liberation, helping to free us from old subconscious patterns, and challenges Mars, the warrior, triggering us and causing frustrations. Focus on equilibrium, stability, steadiness, and equality energies throughout your day. Do things that bring you peace, peace in your body, mind, and soul. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects. Sun and Aquarius, semi-square Neptune in Pisces. Venus and Capricorn, sextile Hygieia in Pisces. Mars and Capricorn, trine Juno retrograde in Virgo. Yesterday's story continues. Luna's movements bring emotional sensitivity and unpleasant overemphasis on feeling stuck or locked in suffering. Be aware that the solar connection to Neptune distorts self-image. You are not less than. Nothing is missing from your makeup. Let go of fantasies imposed from the outside about what life should look like. Ask yourself what is in your heart, and there you will find the healing. Thankfully, we can lean into Mars and Juno. A tiny step forward is all it takes to create a better life. The weight of responsibility eases when you find your purpose. Clarify your goals. Commit to the path ahead. Focus on what you have to give. Get excited about using your skills. Efforts now have the potential to bring unity inside and out. You are strong enough. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Tolkien Times, Keen 103, Blue Crystal Night. Crystal is the name for the number 12, and its keywords are dedication, cooperation, and universalize. The twelfth day of a wave spell is all about getting together with others, working in teams, and being dedicated to the work you do together. We meet up here on the twelfth day for the Crystal Court, and we talk about the wave spell that is coming to an end and we speculate the meaning of the next one. Why not hold your own court? You can get together with your friends who follow the calendar. It's fun and you can help each other learn. I've been following this calendar system since 1999. I've been holding court since 2017. My own understanding has come on by leaps and bounds because I have regularly shared my experiences. Furthermore, when we cooperate in this way, we gain a deeper understanding of who we are and how we relate to each other. Today is blue night and it represents dreaming, abundance, and intuition. These days are very dreamy and it's a great time to take your dreams off the back burner and give them some attention. The blue night also brings abundance and so expect some to come your way. Practice saying abundance out loud because it's a sure way to attract more. By showing you appreciate the abundance you already have, try to consider that your glass is half full and not half empty. 
as it is a crystal day this suggests that abundance can be found by getting together with other folks talking about your dreams and aspirations as airing your ideas to other people will give you insights and ideas you may not have considered on your own and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio blue crystal night twelve akbal keen one zero three thirty first of january twenty twenty four envisioning the dream thirty one one twenty twenty four equal four one eight equal four nine equal thirteen equal four thirty one thirteen cosmic genius code four four new earth code day codes thirty one genius think outside the box four form structure foundation angelic earth thirteen cosmic goddess consciousness natural lore synchronic time month year codes one new beginnings original leader independent unique eight infinite abundance source flow nine endings completion service mission humanity grace divinity twenty the awakening clear vision twenty four charisma happiness healing joy keen one hundred and three equal four building a divine foundation four 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 today heralds a crystal clear vision of your divine service path to manifest an infinite flow of abundance hold the vision for humanity to anchor our 5d dream through these potent gateways every day our new way dreaming is becoming more real in this realm day 12 in the yellow human wave spell of wisdom influence intelligence free will and abundance today we join with our kin to dream of a better way through our wiser choices guiding us to manifest planetary abundance for humanity tone of creation crystal tone 12 in the mental realm action universalizes power dedicates essence cooperation the crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind mental realm yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing any blocks to hearing and communicating divine will and today we are claiming our collective divine abundance at the crystal level of mind we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds just as a crystal can be programmed so too can we program our minds on this day focus on the crystal clarity of our minds today through the power of cooperation with others we can create telepathic links in our communication grids allowing for cooperative thoughts ideas and inspiration to flow a day of greater connection to each other and mother gaia let the collective abundance flow where is your mind focused wherever your lens is directed will amplify your manifestations today is a very special dreaming day break the chains that have bound you to scarcity lack and suffering and fearlessly embrace the higher path take the time today to focus on programming your mind for infinite abundance in our unified and peace-filled utopian world today's questions are am i ready to walk through the door to co-create the garden of eden with my kin what dream am i dreaming into reality am i dreaming of collective abundance for all divine blessings for your success and the rapid fruition of your planetary dream in la catch a la keen Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 103, Blue Crystal Night. The mantra, the code for today is I dedicate an order to dream, universalizing intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of vision. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com 
Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Bro throughout the light, Yeshua, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. And I'd like to also thank you for your support on YouTube memberships. If you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Milo Shradek, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to help support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sister of the Light, Hana Anoya. I cancel, clear, and release any programming of danger and mind control. It is being canceled, cleared, and deleted across time, space, and dimensions all over the grids. I do not give consent to anyone or anything threatening us or causing us to feel controlled and threatened by anyone or anything. It is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is. I and we are safe and held by the divine light. It is done, it is done, it is done, and so it is. Hana Anoya and the Arcturian and Pleiadian High Councils and all the Galactic High Councils of Light that are on planet and off planet. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, sacred, and auspicious month of February ahead as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. 3131 coming in of the 44 Portal. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.